I live with my grandmother. My father passed away in 1990, and my mother in 2007. My grandmother treats me badly sometimes, and doesn't give me time to study. I want to study hard in order for me to pass my grade 10 with high symbols. I don't have a person whom I trust in this world. I used to feel bad when I saw my friends working with their parents. I believe that parents are the greatest of all because without them, life is like coffee without sugar. We became aware of the increasing numbers of orphans and vulnerable children due to the HIV AIDS pandemic, but also due to other causes. You know, we have a lot of children that were uncared for. I think the best way is that all stakeholders in the country should in fact know what each and every one is doing. That's why the intervention of linking uh, stakeholders towards the, the action to bring elevation to the conditions of orphans and vulnerable children becomes so important. Community Links helps us break down barriers that often arise uh, between organizations and institutions and people. It allows us to trust each other and to really appreciate the role that each other plays in the overall big picture uh, of OVC care. The way that the system works um, is we conceive of all of the actors in the system essentially having three Key roles. So the role of the messengers is to find uh, orphans and vulnerable children uh, in their communities and they do this um, through um, their traditional methods. They um, go through a, a, a number of questions to um, determine the well-being of the child. Um, they look at issues of protection, um, the safety and security of the child. Um, they explore issues around education, whether the child has access to education, um, faces any kind of stigma um, uh, in school, uh, their comfort in school, access to materials and the things that they need to do well. And finally, issues of food and nutrition and really um, understanding the degree to which they're um, eating the same kinds of meals that they would be in another house uh, and uh, whether or not their nutritional level is satisfactory. The messengers then um, send via SMS text message a um, brief um, assessment of the status of that child. It comes through the cell phone, it comes into a frontline SMS dedicated laptop, and from there that information hub disseminates information across the entire system. Community Links has three ways in which it disseminates the information that messengers collect. The first way is called our alarm system and it triggers an immediate response that is offered to that particular child indeed. Second way the information that messengers collect is disseminated is through a monthly report that goes to the OVC forum. This monthly report allows the OVC forum to see what's happening in its particular constituency. OVC Forum members can access the names of all the children interviewed that month, as well as the answers to the questions that messengers have asked. The third way that uh, messengers' information gets disseminated is through our alert or sentinel system. In this case, the OVC Forums, as they're looking at the monthly report uh, and comparing it to the month before are able to issue an alert, a green, a yellow, an orange, or a red, indicating the overall well-being in each of our three areas. The alert goes to responders who are supporting that particular area, again education, uh, food and nutrition or safety. 
and uh, also goes out to the whole system so that people know what the status of well-being is in each constituency month after month. We're really shooting for two things, I think. Um, one is um, to prove that um, a systems approach, one that really worries about the linkages between the actors, can really improve performance. So I think there's a proof of concept um, that's really important in the project, that, that rather than focusing on the capacity building of a single organization or entity, that by actually dedicating resources to the entire system, uh, we can see a huge improvement in um, services. Participants came from um, very different communities and brought together essentially the entire constituents level system in Omaheke all into one room. This idea of having the entire system in one room to really work through issues is fundamentally um, critical to the success of the project. We believe that by investing in children we are building the future of Namibia. We are building the future of this world and I think it's such an opportunity for us uh, to be able to work together with our partners from Root Change, um, PAC Namibia, uh, USAID, Ministry of Gender and, and that alone for me it's such a, such a good team of people that are, that, are, that are spearheading this initiative and I have got no doubt that as we move ahead uh, more other partners will be able to join us to make a difference to the life of, of this of this of this people. So we are entering, I believe, a very exciting journey that has already started, um, that is that is able to find solutions to these orphans and vulnerable children.